Good morning, my name is Rebecca Hope from Block News. This is an episode of Meet the Makers, and today we have Stanislav Stolberg, a CEO of PhotoChain from Germany. Welcome. Yeah, thank, thank you, Rebecca. It's good to have you here on the show, and you're doing some really interesting things in the space of stock photos, where photographers aren't really getting paid what they should be. So, um, would you like to explain to us how you came from being a physicist <laughs> to the financial industry and now blockchain technology? Uh, yeah, well, I, I think physicist is not a job, it's a, it's a rather a view of the world, and we try to make the world better than it is mm -hmm. now. And uh, I'm not also a physicist, but I'm a hobby designer. And uh, I used uh, a lot of stock photography in my past, that's why I thought it's not fair. It's not fair for the contributors, because contributors get very badly paid from the major stock photographers. On average, if you sell one photo on Shutterstock you will, uh, for one dollar, you get uh, maybe uh, 10, 10, 10 cents back. Mm -hmm. And it's a very unfair situation. Fortunately, we have uh, this new uh, very cool technology called blockchain. And if you apply this technology in a smart way, you can create uh, a highly automated platforms, decentralized platforms. Mm -hmm. And PhotoChain is uh, one of those platforms, it's a decentralized application. And by using blockchain technology, we can reduce the cost uh, of accounting very, uh, very largely because accounting is out of the box on the public ledger, mm -hmm. uh, handled by smart contracts. Yeah. That, that's why we uh, don't need to pay nobody for accounting. Mm -hmm. And uh, the main idea of PhotoChain is uh, to get power back over to the contributor, mm -hmm. to reward uh, the contributor very fa fairly, in a mm -hmm. fair way. Mm -hmm. The kinds of companies that you're taking on or that you feel are doing things in the wrong way is Adobe, Shutterstock, those kinds of companies where they are keeping most of the, well, they're doing the best they can with the model that yes. they have now. What you're saying is that that's not good enough, let's make something that's better. Yes, I would say it's step-by-step -step improvement because uh, uh, at times when Shutterstock appeared, it was much more fair than a standard agency. Right. Uh, but uh, now uh, the business model can be improved yes. by the new technology. And why we create a new technology? Just to improve life. Yes. And just to automate and reduce cost, right? Right. Yes. So you came from the perspective of the photographer, the content creator, and wanting to just give a better chance for the content creators to actually make money. That brings me to the next question, how will you make money? How will you okay. capitalize off this? So basically, uh, what we use at PhotoChain is token-based accounting. Um, first, uh, our company is in fundraising uh, process called ICO. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody knows about this process. From money uh, collected uh, during ICO, we are able to create uh, the product. Mm -hmm. But as you uh, really asked, a photo chain is not real for free decentralized application where we as a company don't have any money. It's not that way. So we have in mind, of course, uh, revenue and uh, we will uh, take from 5 to 15% from the transaction. Okay. It depends on services which photographer will use. Mm -hmm. But if you compare this 15% uh, to up to 90% on Shutterstock, it's, it's a magnitude better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is one point. Uh, fairly rewarding is not uh, only USB or photo chain. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, what we, what we are aiming to do is to maintain copyright on the public ledger. Mm -hmm. Copyright uh, is an important issue now. So, just guide me through what the what's happening now with the token sale. Yeah, basically, uh, as uh, most of um, blockchain-based or ICO-based uh, companies, we had a private pre-sale uh, at the beginning of this year. So by the way, for the chain, for the chain, it's my child. Uh, for the chain started uh, one year, more than one year ago. Then we had, uh, of course, a lot of preparation, and our main approach was to build uh, not only a white paper, but to build an application. And you can go to Photo Chain, click on a demo, and uh, use a showcase application, which is uh, more. Uh, um, which is better than than only purely white paper, you know. Mm -hmm. It's it's a proof of concept for 
for our investors. And uh, yes, we did we had a private pre-sale. Then we started our ICO in um, it was April. Yes, mm -hmm. April. It it ran over two months, um, and you know uh, this uh, market situation, crypto market situation, is highly volatile. Mm -hmm. And at some point, we decided uh, to pause our ICO and to deliver product. I think we it uh, will be some great news next week, and we we can present uh, uh, not the product version, but an MVP, a real uh, minimum valuable product. What is your hmm? soft cap and hard cap? So basically, uh, our soft cap is reached. <laughs> That's why it's not nothing to speak about it. But hard cap is something like fifty thousand ether, and I say this in ether because it was up to our business model. But today, fifteen thousand ether is one amount. Tomorrow, it's another amount. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But uh, it's something uh, where we can really, really speed up uh, very quick. Where would those funds be allocated? Yes, of course. Uh, so the main usage of funds is first, firstly, developing of the product, which of course is costly because we we are creating not standard templates but new uh, software. We have uh, something like five backend developers and four frontend developers, mm -hmm. including me uh, because I'm also a technical guy and I'm keeping eye very, very uh, close on the development side. So, but I'm not developing myself. I have, uh, unfortunately, a lot of other stuff to do, but I'm every day on, in, on the uh, meeting. So we are running on Scrum, uh, using Scrum methodology okay. for our development. So great. Um, so it sounds like that's where a large part of your ICO funding will go to, but what about marketing and other things? Marketing is, uh, um, unfortunately, I say this unfortunately, but uh, marketing is even <laughs> maybe more important than the product. Because you can have a very cool product, but without the right marketing, it's um, it will not uh, uh, it will not go to the moon. What kind of markets are you looking at expanding into? We have business development streams. We have uh, also PR streams and uh, hype creation streams. Mm -hmm. I think uh, we are not bad on business development, but we could. Uh, uh, do a little bit better on hype creation, maybe. Uh, for us, as a, I would say, real business uh, blockchain project, it's not. Uh, it's a little bit um, hard uh, to focus on this hype because we are not purely hype. If you only focus on hype, you cannot uh, spend your efforts to development and to other stuff. Mm -hmm. But have you got an idea of which markets you want to enter into? Obviously, your your competitors perhaps at this point are Shutterstock, Adobe, I don't know, other free ones, maybe even Pixel, Splash. So how would you enter into the market? We are not sleeping on business development and we have uh, a large community of early contributors, early supporters. Mm -hmm. We could have uh, like uh, up to one million uh, picture initial supply, initial supply. And uh, more and more uh, photographers won't join us. Mm -hmm. So we have, uh, if you go to photochain.io on, on the page for photographers, you can look uh, and you can onboard as photographer uh, on this page. So uh, on this stuff, I would say on the initial supply, we are doing good. Mm -hmm. uh, regarding uh, early buyers, uh, we are also trying to partner with, uh, with uh, large agencies. And one of uh, these agencies is a brand leadership circle. Okay. In Switzerland, a uh, very, uh, yeah, very famous uh, PR agency, mm -hmm. and uh, for example, they will be one of our initial early buyer. Mm -hmm. So that's not, something maybe that you're looking for in the future as well, is to have more agencies like that, or to yes. So you're looking so, more B two B model kind of thing. Uh, yes, it's. A, it's B two B and B two C. Okay. We, we need to define it first. You know, it's it's a new product, new uh, new business model, and we need to define this. Tell us about your future plans and what are you hoping for the short term and the long term. So short term is of course uh, to deliver uh, to deliver this uh, application uh, very soon. As I said, and uh, I hope that uh, we can show this next week. Mm -hmm. It's of course not beta. It's something between MVP and beta. Yes. But it's very usable. You can uh, look on it. Mm -hmm. 
And the, the main USP, our trading smart contract, which maintains uh, copyright and licensing, it's already in there, it's in place. So we, we have written the smart contract and uh, yeah. Uh, also, another interesting point, we, uh, we use um, AI algorithms for image recognition, image taking, it's also in place. What do you think about the amount and the volume of high quality content that already is free? There's a lot of websites where you can get free content. What are your thoughts on that? You mean like Unsplash? Yes. It's an uh, interesting approach to make uh, a photographer, uh, to promote himself, yeah. to promote photographer himself. But for sure, the, the, the best quality is not for free. If you want to use uh, this in real professional um, stuff, like uh, also, I don't know about blog news, <laughs> but about other agencies, uh, so everybody have to buy high quality photography because yeah. photographer, uh, full time photographer, have to earn something. And what is the the market that you're looking at disrupting? If you have, if you look at these other companies and you see where you can step in, have you got an, a, a kind of idea or some kind of number that you're looking at achieving? The market uh, goes very or grows very rapidly mm -hmm. because more and more pictures should be licensed. Mm -hmm. and not use it, used for free. You know, this artificial intelligence boats, which scroll the web and finds a misusage of a picture yes. uh, and claim this, uh, it's very hard to misuse uh, images now. And it's getting harder and harder. Mm -hmm. That's why the whole market is now um, uh, three mi uh, billion US dollar big, mm -hmm. the steel image market. And it will, it will go up to Four billion US dollars very soon, wow. and it grows uh, very very fast. So yeah. uh, I did a research on this, and it it uh, uh, it showed it, the growing rate of uh, almost a hundred percent per year. Wow. Okay. And what percentage of that market are you? So at? Um, our um, uh, motivation is to get uh, ten percent by twenty twenty. The thing is, uh, this is why marketing all... is important. <laughs> Uh, yes, of course. I mean, we have uh, very uh, professional uh, business developers also on team, if you can check, and we've taken this very, very seriously. And, uh, for example, one of our advisors is Charles Becre, mm -hmm. and he was a former uh, vice president and marketing director of Shutterstock. Yeah, you're building off, off knowledge which already exists yes. in, the, in the market, yes. in the sphere. Well, it sounds like you guys are doing fantastic things there, and I know you're very busy, so thank you so much for taking the time out today to talk Thank to us about, about uh, photo chain, something that is just better and will allow the photographer or videographer, I'm guessing, to monetize in a better way and for you to monetize as well. It's great what you're doing. I think I'm going to upload Thank some you. of my pics as well. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. I will, uh, we will uh, take you, uh, we will update you about uh, the product development. Thank you so much. Stanislav Stolberg from Photo Chain. For talking with me, Rebecca Hope from Block News, this is an episode of Meet the Makers. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys.